go through this on here, and then I'm going to do it on the projector, and then you're going to go to your experts and learn how. Because we're not just doing a bowline, we're doing all different types of knots. Bowlins are just the hardest. So this is knot tying. Why you should get knotty. <laughs> ah. Okay, I'm serious when I say knot tying can save your life in an emergency. If you're in any sort of danger, you'll get thrown a line and you'll have 10 seconds underwater to tie it around your boat and drag you out of the way of a freighter. Or maybe to your life jacket or stuff out of that. Like, and you laugh, but that's, that has literally happened when I'm coaching. I'd ha I've had kids who were in emergency situations. They couldn't tie a ball, and I had to jump in the water in my running powerboat, tie a line, and drag them away from rocks because they were incompetent. People can get hurt if you don't know how to tie a knot. All right? No, they. I'm talking, I'm talking 16 year olds. So the goal of this after today is all of you have to show me a bowling before you walk out. All right, all ha and next. All right, first one is a half hitch. You make a loop, and you put the end through the loop, and you pull it tight. Okay, so I always start with my left hand has the long end. If you look at me right here, left hand has the long end, and right hand does all the work. So I make a loop. Oh. I make a loop with the, long, with the short end on top, put it through there, and pull tight. Looks like a pretzel. You see that? It's a half hour. All right, I'm going to do it again, and then everyone's going to do it. You're going to have a minute or 30 seconds to do it. Well, what is the purpose of this knot? Good. The purpose of this knot, it's a stopper knot. This is one of the easiest you can do. You would tie this on the end of your Cunningham or outhaul. Um, other people choose to do a figure eight knot, and I'll show you that next. This is a first step to a figure eight knot. So you guys have 30 seconds. Everyone tie a half hitch. Okay. Oh my god, yay. What's that time? 30 seconds. It is. It is called an Half inch, too. All right, guys. Everyone good? All right, we're going to move on to the next knot, so everyone quiet. Okay, once again, I have the long end in my left hand, and the short end in my right, and we're going to do a figure eight knot. This is a knot you would use on the end of your jib sheet. Uh, it's much less likely to get out as a half hitch, and I rarely use a half hitch, but you still need to know it. So for figure eight, long end in your left hand, short end in your right, it goes back around and through. <laughs> Obviously that looks like an eight, but the trick is, if you want to take this easy, just wrap it around a bunch and put it back in in an arbitrary amount of time, and if it comes out right, it comes out right. Otherwise, do it. But it becomes second nature. So watch one more time, and then we're all going to try it. What? We're going to do that. Yes. A square knot? No, it's not. I got you. All right, everyone try it. You have one minute. Experts, make sure everyone knows how to do it and does it at least two times. Sorry. Well, you know, if you don't know this, you're gonna be on the first too. You want to teach? Do you want to teach a square knot? Uh, okay, I'll do it. Makes too much sense to me. Are we tying? Are we tying Every single day. Matt, the pro Thirty seconds. Everyone has to do it at least twice. <laughs> 
One minute. Everyone ready? All right, eyes on me. And shut up. <laughs> mm. Okay, next knot is going to be the square knot. Okay? This is what you tie in your shoe, um, except you only do half of it. So what, how you start out, you have an end in each hand. You go right, over, left, and under left, over, right, and under. And if it looks right, looks kind of like a life jacket. If you picture this as being the neck of someone, the life jacket goes around the back of their neck. That's how you know it's right. If you do it wrong, it looks like this. This is wrong. The good thing about a square knot is you can put as much load as you want on it, and it's really easy to get out. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Pull this as hard as you can, and it gets really tight. So now you have these two ends, the loops on top. All you do is you push the loop, and you try and just bend the loop over the rest of it. And then it comes out really easily. Where do we use this when we're deregging the boats? You, you don't use this on a 420, but on a big boat, you use Oh, out haul the main house. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Will, can you tie a square knot with any diameter of mine? Good point. Now, the trick with the square knot, all guys in the back, the trick with the square knot is if you take a, uh, a thin line and tie it to a thick line, they don't develop the same amount of friction on both sides, so it pulls right through. So for that, you use a different knot called a sheet bend. In science, you do. So whenever you're tying a square knot, yeah, and science, <laughs> it's got to be the same thickness line. So I'm going to show you one more time. And then experts of your group, I want you to make sure everyone in your group ties it at least twice on their own, without help. So we're going to go. Everyone ready? All right. Thanks. Right, over left, and under. Left, over right, and under. Okay, now I'm going to show you what happens when you tie it with two different thickness lines. Everyone watching? Oh no! It's holding. It's holding. Now, if you look, it's really on the end, so all I have to do is kind of just poke it and it's going to fly right through. Like. <laughs> yeah. Alright, experts, make sure they do it twice. What? Yeah, I don't know how to tie sheep. <laughs> Let's forget. Wait for them to do this first. All right. Is that something? Go. I don't see people tying knots. Elson, tie twice. She did. it. Tie twice. Do it again. Don't use that. Tie twice. Good. Can I have my line back? Can I? Good job, Heather. Heather, can I have my line back? It looks so weird when you tie it. It's not, does that. I don't know a sheep bend, so okay, that's you. Yeah. It's not it's like Actually, please, can I see for a second? I want to try it the other way around. And then you can have a bend. Why would I Sort of. Um, a limited master. All right, everyone, listen up. Shh. Eyes on me. All right, the last and most important knot that all of you have to bring up and show to me before you can leave is the bowling. This is the hardest one. This is the most important one. So make sure you pay attention. Um, 
You'll notice that your experts might have a different way th to do this not than me. Uh, that's fine, whichever one works better for you. Uh, I'm going to show you the way that I found works best over the years, and I've taught sailing for a lot of years. Um, now, the first thing to learn about the bowline is it's for tying around objects. So you use this to tie a line around a pole or your arm or stuff like that. If it's a 420, when you tow, you tie a bowline around the mast to tow. And uh, that's why you need to know this, mainly for you guys on the team. So I can do this one-handed behind my back. <laughs> Challenge. You see? Challenge? One hand. hand up here. All right, actually, no, I, it's, I can't. Can you do it? Hold on, I haven't done it in a while. Show us. One hand is really hard, but two hand is really easy. All right, you guys want to see it behind my back? Ready? Yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> hey, Will, you promised us to wear the sweater. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if all of you can tie a bowl in, at the end of this meeting, I'll wear my sweater next week. How about that? <laughs> I was disappointed with your quizzes last week. All right, let's get focused and get this over with. Okay, so here are the steps. <laughs> really, don't worry as much about the steps as this rhyme. This rhyme is something you always hear with the bowling. Not helpful? I always make it go all the way. All right, I think it's better off to just show you guys. All right, everyone ready? So, once again, long end. Shh. I don't want to talk over anyone. All right, so long end in your left hand, short end in your right. You make a loop around your finger with the short end, and the short end sits on top of the long end. Notice that that is on top, okay? That's really important. So now you hold it like this. The rabbit comes out of the hole, goes back around the tree behind, and then it goes back into the hole. And if it's right, it looks like a life jacket with a person's neck right here. It goes around their neck like that. All right, I'm going to do it again. Everyone watch. Short end on top. Rabbit comes out of the hole. Back around the tree. Into the hole. Pull tight. It looks good. Now, this is another knot like the square knot where... Like I said, it looks like a life jacket, and you can put as much load as you want on this, and it's really easy to get out with one simple trick. So I'll pull it really tight. All you do is lift up on the back end of the life jacket, and it comes right out. Go for it. So we got to see everyone know how to do it. May I tie born? Yeah, may I tie born? Show teachers here. Professor, show me. Professor, doctor. Whenever you tie it, the long end has to be, uh, the short end has to be on the inside. This comes out and locks easy. What do you mean the short end? Oh. See what I mean? I looped it so it has to be like this uh, every time. Plead. Nope. 
You don't have a gift shop on the eighth well, floor. Yeah. Okay, well, then, what do we yeah. We have it at the front. Yes. Yeah. So we can see what's going on. We're not tying. Okay. No. You got a man at the door. Step up. 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 So, long end in your left hand. Yeah. Around. Now what do I do? Under and through. Okay, now where? Around this. Yep. Over the left side. Looks like a life jacket. Yeah. See what I mean by that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. You don't have locks on the Should we make it? No. Alright, who thinks they're good? You? Well, I'll race you. Well, what's not you don't Untie this another 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Yes. Okay, but still, I couldn't get enough load on it. You did it the wrong way. You told me to do it, so I did it. No, I meant. What do you mean? Listen. The trick for getting it out when it's really tight. It's not going from this end, it's one finger. Oh. Yeah, just like that. Oh, and it falls that. apart, yeah. yeah. Alright, let me show some other people. Who thinks they're good at it? Okay. Okay, you have five seconds to untie. Untie? Yep. You ready? Sure, Five, four, oh dang it, I can't get it tight enough. Okay, but my point of that is the way a lot of the instinct to untie this knot is to go like this and whatnot. But really, this could go under 2,000 pounds. All you do, one finger, lift up on that end. And it, that makes it really easy to untie. So that's that's the trick I want you to take away from that. Now you know how to tie it. All right, everyone good? Yep. We're going to come up to the front in a sec. All right, we have one more activity before you guys all come forward. Everyone, eyes on me. All right, now the experts, we're going to have a race to see who can tie it the fastest. The winner gets a prize. So, everyone give the experts your line. Oh, I'm serious, yeah. Yeah. All right, experts, everyone ready? We're going to do a race of the experts. As soon as you finish, raise your hand. Help me judge on this. I don't know. The starting position is the line on your desk, both hands not touching. <laughs> Hold it over your head. Hold it over your head when you finish. Everyone. All right, everyone ready? Line on the ground. Oh, Eddie, Jesus. All right, ready, set, go. What not? Done. Done. Oh. All right, Chris wins. The present is the line. All right, everyone, before you f can leave, come forward and show me a bowling. Wait, they can't leave anyway, though. Oh, they can't leave anyway, but everyone.